Good day guys and welcome back. So today I'm going to show you how to replace the Fitech solenoid gasket. This little thing on your 2001 to 2007 Honda CRV. Now they'll probably be the same for the newer, slightly newer models with the K24 motor. They're pretty much exactly the same. It's a very easy job. Now the reason we're doing this is because um, we've had a very severe oil leak underneath the car. Now if you've got an oil leak I did suspect it was coming from the uh, sump, um, but under further investigation, it's actually coming from the VTEC solenoid gasket. Very easy fix, um, and you can buy these off of eBay for like, I think it's like $12 with two to three days postage, or your local Honda dealership might have them. Now, I was getting a lot of oil um, pulling underneath the car and on the cross member and on the left hand side of my car, which is, um, sorry, the right hand side, um, which is the driver's side in New Zealand and Australia and other countries. In America, um, it'll be your passenger side, but I was getting a lot of oil around the um, cross member, the CV boot and stuff like that. I assumed it was maybe a sump gasket because it was leaking around the sump, um, but it's not, it's the VTEC solenoid gasket. I'm going to run you through how to actually change this. It's very easy, very straightforward. It's three 10mm bolts at the back and then a plug as well. Very easy, uh, we're going to do that. And the reason we've got a puppy pad sitting here is when you actually pull the VTEC solenoid off, it leaks quite a bit of oil. Now you normally use puppy pads for changing the actual oil um, on my cars just so if I, it leaks on the ground it really soaks up really well. But I'm just going to drape this, this, drape this over the subframe itself that way um, I don't have to clean up any more oil. So if you've got puppy pads you can buy like a 12 pack, 15 pack for like $5 from like your local shops. So I'm going to drape that over. I'm going to show you uh, where the bolts are and there's like a little connection clip, um, a little electrical clip you've got to take off. And that very straightforward and this will totally take 10-15 minutes at home in your garage or outside or whatever it might be all right let's get on to it and get it done all right now that you've got the bolts at the back loosened up they are a little bit tight so we did use a brake bar with a 10mm socket on the end of it, that doesn't have a socket. We use a breaker bar with a 10mm socket, uh, now the first one was a bit rounded so it just went easy, it did require a bit of force to be able to break those uh, three bolts just at the back um, that I showed you earlier. Now with the, with the sensor, just at the top of the solenoid there, all you got to do is press down on that top clip And pull up now there'll be one of these clips here attached to the back of that little bracket there mine was already broken off but you will need to just unclip that from the back of that metal bracket behind the center there so easy as that push down on the top pull up now with these bolts at the back of the solenoid they are very long they are very long and take a bit to wind out Now that is how long the bolt is, and there's three of those, that's somewhere safe. Grab our solenoid out. And it's a VTEC solenoid, you can see the amount of oil and gunk that was sitting around that. It's definitely been leaking. So we're going to pull that out, replace it. We're good to go. Clean it up um, and once we put that new o-ring on um, we'll put a little bit of oil around there so it seats itself in properly. You can see that it's been leaking a lot. Pretty bad. Alright, to actually switch the gaskets out all you need is a flathead screwdriver and there's a little gap just there um, in that section. So we'll just pop that in there, um, pull it out, we can see how built up and gunky it is. Looks like maybe some Loctite or something. It's been put on there at some point. Nice. It's pretty black oil coming out of there. So, 
we'll get our cloth. We'll give it a good clean up before we put the new gasket in. Always got to have a good clean. And then also where that attaches the block, we'll also give that section actually on the block a good clean, a good wipe down so it's got a good section. You can see there's a lot of built up crap um, where that gasket will that um, gasket will sit. So make sure you get into all those little grooves there so when you actually put that new gasket back on, it's got no crap in there. I'll give it a good clean. Alright, now that we've got the it all cleaned up, the new gasket in, we've rubbed a little bit of oil around the new gasket before we actually placed it in. Um, and then we actually came over here to where um, it meets the block, gave it a nice little clean up um, so it sits nice and flush to the block when we go put it back on, which should create a nice seal. So now we're going to go put it back on, but it's pretty much just the reverse of um, taking it off. Pretty much set it flat, flush, put the bolts in, tighten it up. Just go around like a star, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. And the opposites, make sure they're tight, not too tight, because um, these threads here are at the back of the motor and they get super hot um, and they can just strip these out. So for next time, if that claps out again, um, just be mindful not to these too tight. But that's pretty much it for today's video. Um, I hope this has helped you replace the VTEC solenoid gasket on your 2000 um k24 a 2000 2007 k24 uh honda crv now these are probably the exact same for other k24 engines um if they're not let me know in the comments below if it has helped you please also let me know in the comments below i'll um love to see if i am actually helping people with these but that's it for today guys i hope you like this video it has helped you um thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time